Now the most challenging question that comes in your DNB or MS exam is when you have a case of cervical myelopathy and the examiner asks you why do you say it is because of cervical myelopathy and there is no lesion in the brain or it is not because of any intracranial cause. So in DNB or MS exam you are supposed to answer this question by telling, telling him that sir I did a jaw jerk and the jaw jerk was normal in this patient. So that rules out any intracranial pathology or cerebral pathology and the reason is cervical myelopathy. So now I will tell you how to do the jaw jerk. So you ask the patient to open up the mouth slightly. Then you keep your finger in this area and then using the sharp of, of the hammer you tap over this area. Normally there is no response. But if there is any intracranial or cerebral pathology, then because of the trigeminal nerve involvement or the pons involvement, there is a jerk. So in case of a pathology, there will be slight movement. The jaw will basically oscillate or close. So there will be a jerk because of the masseter contraction, masseter muscle contracts. And the efferent and efferent pathway of this reflex is through the Fifth, uh, fifth cranial nerve that is the trigeminal nerve. So this jaw jerk is very important because in exam if you get a case of cervical myelopathy this jaw jerk will help you to distinguish whether it is from intracranial cause or because of cervical myelopathy.